Hi everyone and welcome. Um, I decide to record this video to show you maybe another option um, to manage Excel files and dates in Excel files. So um, all, all we know maybe that when we use the action um, of Excel that is called let me a minute list rows presenting a table um, if we are using a, a common table with without format so the connector um, transform or convert our date to a number so I was looking a way to avoid that so um, let me show you uh, what I discovered so let's do this from the beginning so I'm going to here create an Excel file. Um, first, I want to I want to apologize with with all of you um, for my English. Maybe it's it's not the best, but um, I am learning, so I'm trying to to do my best. Okay, so here we go. This is my header that is called maybe ID, another the values and dates. So I'm going to convert this in a table because it's required. <coughs> Sorry. So here's one and values is test. And here maybe today is heading. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have a date here. Two, another one is uh, that two, so maybe yesterday. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have here dates, and then I'm going to create a new Power Automate flow. So, uh, sorry, uh, maybe an instant. Okay, it's better. This is Excel test. So now I'm going to list my my data. So this is in OneDrive and now um, OneDrive and my file is on applications and it's called um, libro, see his libro, and then okay. So here we go. We are going to test this, and okay. <clears throat> So, um, as, as I told you, when we used list rows presenting the table, so we are going to see here that our data is converted to a number. So to avoid this, what I discovered is that we need to change the format in the Excel file. So here I am going to just format. Uh, I'm, I'm giving the format to this column and I am going to text, I'm going to change, sorry, to text. So this is what our connector do. So I'm going to delete these dates. Um, maybe here I have some, some dates, some example dates. So I'm pasted and I'm going to change my Excel name just to locate it well and it's the PM Excel. Okay, so now I have another name, uh, it doesn't matter for our example, but just to locate it well. So um, I'm going to save this, I'm going to close this, I'm going to refresh my page because I don't know why but when I change the, um, the name of Excel 
um, sometimes I, I am not able to to find it to find it here so uh, it's in applications and then it's PIXL and it's tabla 1, table 1 in, in, in English so um, I will trigger this action and then I'm going to run my flow and see if the magic happens here da -da -da -dun -da -dun. Oh, <laughs> it's not loading cor correctly just let me go back and open it here it's the same run so da -da -dun -da -dun. okay so as you see I have now an and date value to to do compares and to to use it in my condition so that's all everyone so i hope you this video can help you can can help you to to do or or flows if if you are trying or if you're looking to to get dates from an excel file so See you next time. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for your time.